everybody, and welcome to the Kauai Bookworm Plays with Yarn podcast. I'm Hannah, and I'm a university student at the University of Liverpool. Um, totally messed up my intro there. Usually say I'm a Jersey girl studying at Liverpool. Whew. That's just how this episode's going to go, apparently. All right. So, uh, I had a bit of cast on itis this week. Um, I've also got a finished object to show you, which you can already see. I'm wearing it. I finished my I Am Groot cardigan! I am so happy with how it turned out. Um, not sure if I can show you very well, just because of the poop. Let's see. Ugh! Eh, you don't want to shake the camera too much. But... There we go. It is done. So, um, while I'm here, the buttons are from Textile Garden. I decided to go with these. Um, I had I couldn't decide between two button sets, so I bought two of them. The other one was just a plain um dark wooden button. And but I decided to go with these. And yeah. I'm very happy with it. It's very cozy. It's very comfortable. Um, let's get resettled. Whew. All right. Um, I definitely, so the basic information for it is the pattern is called I Am Groot. It's by Mary Annarella. The yarn is Blue Sky Fibers in their wool stock, which is their um, worsted weight yarn, and the colorway is called October Sky. I used uh, US 6, which I think is 4 millimeters? Not entirely sure, but US 6, which was from my um, Dreams, uh, Knitter's Pride Dreams interchangeable set. And the buttons are from Textile Gardens. Um, I did something wrong somewhere. Not totally sure what I did wrong. I either, um, essentially what's wrong is I have six skeins left over. Which is, t like, way too much yarn. To, like, if I had a skein, maybe two, then I'd be like, okay, well, I miscounted or something. But six skeins is a bit much, so I'm not sure if I thought I was looking at the right size um, yardage, but was actually looking at the one up from the size that I was doing, or my gauge was totally off. But it fits, it, I like how it fits, so I'm not sure if that was the case. It might be that the sleeve gauge is off because it is a little bit tighter up here. Um, but other than that, it's fine. So, it's not, I didn't do something wrong as in the whole cardigan's wrong and it's can't, it's unwearable. Um, it's totally wearable, totally comfortable, and I love it. Um, I just did something wrong with either my my math for how much yard I, um, how much yarn I needed or with my gauge. Not sure where I went wrong, but whatever. I have enough to make maybe a baby cardigan. Who knows? Um, so that was my, I closed my notes. Why did I do that? Sorry, I have to find them again. I decided that I needed to start doing show notes because I keep forgetting information about things and so I did show notes today and I just closed the book on them. So on to whips I guess. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to say about this. I like the construction. Um, you did the back up to maybe here-ish first, and then you picked up, um, for the front, and you did the front, these two fronts separately, and then you connected, and then just went down. Um, so that was nice. It was top-down. I could try it on. 
as I was going, see if it was too big or too small. Um, the These cables were easy to start to memorize. The back cable, not so much. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, but, yeah, it was enjoyable. It was fun. Um, I did get to a point where I was like, I just want this to be done. But that was mostly because... I really really wanted to wear it um, and not be and not not wearing it you know so um, yeah so whips now um, as I said at the beginning I had a bit of cast on itis um, I had a hard time concentrating on what I wanted to work on I would pick up something do it uh, do a row set it down go do something else, pick up another project, do a row, go and do something else. Um, it was a bit of a weird week for me um, in terms of being able to concentrate on things. So I started two more projects. I finally got, um, I finally got my Vintersoul card, uh, pullover. I keep saying cardigan because I've been talking about this. Um, cast it on. I had quite a few issues casting it on. Um, first time my long tail cast on, was, the tail was not long enough. Second time I totally miscounted and didn't realize until um, I was like four rows in and actually was splitting things up. Um, and then the second time I twist, or the third time I twisted it, fourth time I did something else and finally finally got it on got it right um I think <laughs> I think it's right um but here it is this is what I have it looks absolutely massive to me um so the the pattern is Vintersoul and it's by Jennifer Steingass um and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, like, tree-like pattern going up here. And you're supposed to cast on, it's a top-down hybrid. Um, so you cast on at the widest part of the yoke, and then you go up doing decreases to do the yoke, and then you're going to pick up here and go down. Um, and so I am doing the side, the 37 inch size and this just it looks huge so I'm not I'm not sure like I know theoretically it's supposed to have all the stitches for both the arms and the body and so I think maybe the arms are here and that would make sense but it does look massive to me, and so I'm a little bit nervous that it's going to be way too big. But I also really don't want to restart it. So I think I'm just going to continue until I get a point where I can actually try it on properly. Because I'm not, I'm not sure where this point is supposed to sit. I don't know if it's supposed to sit here, or here, or like here. Like, I'm not sure. So I'm going to wait until I get the neck, uh, neck man done. And then I'll try it on and see if it's just too big. But um, I do, I've got funny proportions. Um, I'm quite small, like shoulders and waist wise, but quite endowed up here. So it does give me, if, if I'm going off of just bust size for patterns, it does give me um, a lot of, extra room in some places so that is something I have to think about um my color work I'm not sure if, how even it is it got I didn't realize that this pattern has you're gonna have to hold three strands in some places and so in those places the it does get a little bit wonky with the floats and loose stitches, but I think I'm doing okay. I, th 
think I'm okay overall. It looks a little bit scrunched up when it's like this, but when I kind of flatten it a bit, it looks better. So this is my first color work, um, like large color work pullover kind of thing. I've done mittens before and that's about it. So I'm taking quite a gamble with this. Um, the yarn that I am using is the Rauma Phenol PT2. Um, here's some of the ball bands. And uh, I'm not sure what is what. Let's see. The, this um, brownish white color is number 516. The blue, the blue is number one, and this one is number two. And I, I'm really proud of myself. I didn't go for too much blue. Um, I'm having it as one of the main contrast co colors, so um, it's there, but it's not not too much blue. So. Um, oh, yeah, my, eh, where's my stitch mark? My little progress keeper I'm using is my Gentleman Pikachu. Um, I think that is my garment progress keeper. So, and I am using a watermelon stitch marker for the beginning of the round. Eh, it doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Little watermelon stitch marker. Alrighty, so those are two. That is the first whip that I managed to get cast on this week. Um, I was really, I was really frustrated when I was having issues with casting it on. Um, I put it away for a couple of days because I was like, I just can't do that. But I really wanted to get it on the needles, so I just decided, let's do this. So I sat down and just concentrated on it and got it right finally um i also kind of put it aside for a couple of, um a day or two when i got to the three um stranded three colors in one row um it was actually two rows but um i did just kind of was like i just need to get past that part so i sat down and just got past that and then i was like okay i'm done <laughs> i'm done for the day um that that's the point where I have the most wonkiness with my color work um, there was a lot of really big stitches and some really tight stitches um, and that's just because um, this is really sticky yarn so when I'm holding it like I wrap I wrap my yarn like that and then I split it with my middle finger and so I hold it like that. And sorry, my hands are really shaky today. Um, and so it, even with the two, sometimes if one color has more stitches than the other, the other one will kind of get caught up and start like traveling up like that and it gets all tangled and messy because it's sticky, proper woolly yarn. Um, and so when I had the three colors, it was just a mess. Um, so <laughs> I don't really want to do that again. I hope, I'm not sure. I know that there's some color work on the cuffs and some color work at the bottom. Um, I hope that there's not so much of the three colors in one round, uh, in one row as there was for this. Um, but I'm enjoying it. It's working up quite quickly um, for how big it is, actually. Um, I did, I think, like most of this last night. Um, I started watching Terrace House, Aloha State, and I've just been going. Um, it's a really easy pattern to memorize. It's a 10-stitch pattern, and I just kind of... Um, by the time I get to, like, here... 
in the beginning of the row, I've got it memorized for the row at least. Um, it's going to be a really, really warm pullover, so that'll be nice when it gets cold again. That's... Oh, um, I, I've hit gauge for the stockinette with the called for needle, but I went up a size for the color work, and I've hit gauge with the color work, um, with one size up. And so I'm using the US 7s uh, for the color work and US 6 for the stockinette. And um, again, it's my dreams interchangeable set. I pretty much only have either carbons. Um, if it's an interchangeable, I only have the dreams and then one set of um, Lika needles and then. Um, if it's circular, like um, connected, not interchangeable ones, it's either my carbons or my addies, because that's all I have. I really need to get some more. Um, really need to get some more because I want to do more projects, but they're all relatively the same size needles and can't do that like I had to finish this before I could start this because I was using the US 6s on this and I needed to do stockinette um, at the beginning for it and so I couldn't I had to finish this one and then do this one um, but that's all that I have to say about um, oh it's living in my British Museum tote bag um, and these are the caked up ones. So, uh, you have to hold the yarn double. So I've caked them up and I'm just pulling from the outside and the inside. Because, um, the way that they come originally like this is just a mess. Um, as some of you may have seen in Amy's vlog. Um, Amy of Stranded in her vlog, um. I w we were at all we were all at Akva and I was uh, doing a swatch gauge for this and it was a mess <laughs> everywhere. Um, that's just kind of what happens to me sometimes. So that is the first whip that I casted on this week. Um, the other whip that I cast on this week week was a pair of socks. And they are the Honeycomb Socks by Maker Maker. And I'm doing them in Vellum Vine yarns on the footsie base in the Dead Calm colorway. And these are my Carbons needles. Um, I am doing the toe on 2.25 needles. I managed to find some at Edinburgh in the very long, I think, 40 centimeter. Um, Not 40 centimeter. 40. 100 centimeter. I have the thingy here. Why am I trying to remember this? 100 centimeter. 100 centimeter. I think it's 40 inches. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the toe in 2.25. And then when I start doing the pattern, which... Um, is just a honeycomb cabling pattern. Um, I will switch to the 2.5s because I find that my sock toes are a bit too, they have too much room. I'd like them, I would like them to be a bit tighter. And I tried doing less stitches on a sock and it didn't, it doesn't look right. And so I decided to go down a needle size but keep the same, um, keep the higher stitch count. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I'm not really sure. Um, all I have is the toes right now and I'm using my Progress Keeper from Beehive Yarns. It's the little, little bumblebee. It's, nothing wants to focus when I try to do that. Focus. Ugh, I don't know why I try. That never focuses. Um, so, sorry, I have an itchy nose. 
My skin is still really dry here from when I was sick, and so it's not, it's just not happy to have makeup on right now. Um, but yeah, I've just got, I'm not even done with the toes, I'm still working on them. Um, I needed another pair of socks on the needles, because I, li I like having them. Uh, they're easy, they travel well, and most of what I'm working on right now is card, like, garments and so they don't travel as well so little needles um well they they are little needles but um little socks at the moment and they live in my edinburgh um project bag so the winter sole was originally in this when it was just like a few little few ro rows but now it, i had to move it because it's too big um, so yeah, those, that's that, um, not much to say about it because I haven't gotten into the full pattern yet, um, I'll have more next week. And the last whip I had, I've already showed you guys, um, and I realized I forgot to get a progress keeper on here, um, not that it really matters, I didn't work on this as much um I think I put in like four I think I was here last time I showed you I was right here last time I showed you and so I've just done about an inch this is the ranunculus um sweater shirt thing by Nick Cafe Midori um I think technically it's a sweater but um because it's in such a fine yarn, I'm con and I'm doing short sleeves. I'm considering it more of a um, shirt. Whereas I think if I did it in the worsted weight yarn, um, it would be more of a sweater. But I think it'll be good this way for summer. Um, it'll be nice and comfy um, and pretty. I'm doing it in Skin Queen. Um, doesn't have, it's an unknown colorway, but it's this bluey, gray, um, steel kind of color. And, um, it's got really interesting texture on the yoke. If you can see, if it wants to focus on the thing instead of my face, which it doesn't, of course. Um, it's got some really nice... Um, texture. So, I've not put as much work into it because I've been, um, really, the Vintersol is just, I really like working on it, really want to keep working on it, so this one has been kind of put to the side for a bit, but I might work on it today should work on it today a little bit gotta figure out where I am in the pattern um, because it is hand dyed yarn I am alternating skeins so these are the two skeins Oop, that one's falling apart of course they're very soft yarn it's very soft I'm really happy with it I've been meaning to buy Skin Queen for a really long time, and I saw them at Edinburgh, and I was just like, I, I just gotta do it. So I did. Um, yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting things done. So, little talk story, I guess. Um... I've not been, I finished a couple of books that I was reading, and I talked about them last couple of episodes. I've not really picked up a book since then. Um, I have been watching Terrace House, Aloha State, which is a Japanese reality TV show. Um, it's set, the this particular season is set in Hawaii, and I've been missing Hawaii quite a bit, so... Um, I know it sounds silly to go and watch something it 
does make me miss it a bit more, but it also kind of gives me that, like, oh, I know all those places, I can kind of remember, and, um, so it kind of helps, kind of doesn't, but, yeah, it's really, it is entertaining, I'm enjoying it, um, and it's one of those things that's, like, why am I watching this, but at the same time, it's, like, I'm so sucked into it, but that's reality TV for you, um, and I'm get I'm practicing my Japanese while I'm listening to it. So yeah, um, today's the last day of spring break. I have to go back to school tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to. But hey, it's what you gotta do. Um, so yeah, I've not got a whole lot to say. Um, it's been rainy and cloudy, as it is in the UK, um, but it has warmed up a bit. I was able, um, I was able to just go out in, sorry, really bad itch. Um, I was able to go out in just my cardigan. Um, I did wear heat tech, which if you don't know what heat tech is, it's um, Uniqlo's brand of like, warm undergarments so um i did wear a heat tech shirt underneath it because i was wearing like a short sleeve shirt like this um and i wasn't sure how cold it was gonna get so just in case i wore one underneath and it worked out fine it was i was really comfortable i wasn't like shivering and yeah i'm really i'm really happy with this cardigan I'm super happy with it. It's very comfortable. It's very warm. Um, and I made it. So it's extra special. It's my first cardigan. And I'm pretty proud of how it's turned out. The only thing that bothers me is that I have... Um, I put one of the pockets on wonky. But I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to bother trying to fix it. Because that will not be fun. Um... So, yeah, that's about it. That's all I've got to say. Um, I hope you guys have a good week and happy knitting.